In this section, I will talk about random access file. All of the streams you have used so far are known as read-only or read-only streams. These streams are called sequential streams. A file that's open using a sequential stream is called a sequential access file. The contents of the sequential access file cannot be updated. However, it's often necessary to modify the files. Draw provides the random access file class to allow data to be read from and written to any location in the file. A file that's open using the random access file class is known as the random access file. The random access file class implements the data input and the data output interfaces, as this picture shows you. The data input interface defines the methods for reading primitive type values and strings, and the data output interface um, defines the methods for writing primitive type values and strings. When creating a random access file, you can specify one or two models. The first model is the letter case R. The model R means that uh, the stream is read only. And another model is RW. RW indicates the stream allow both read and write. For example, the following statement creates a new stream which is called RAF. This stream allows the program to read and write to the file test.dat using the model RW. If the test.dat already exists, RAF is created to access it. If test.dat doesn't exist, a new file named test.dat is created and RAF is created to access the new file. A random access file consists of a sequence of bytes. A special marker called a fine pointer is positioned at one of these bytes. A read or write operation takes place at the position of the fine pointer. When the file is open, the fine pointer is set at the beginning of the file. When you read from or write data to the file, the file pointer moves forward to the next data item. So let's look at this example. If you read an int value using the readInt method, the GVM will read 4 bytes from the fine pointer. And now, after the read method, the, the fine pointer is 4 bytes ahead of the previous location, as this picture shows you. The random access file class provides many useful methods. For example, if you want to locate the fine pointer to the beginning of the file, you can use the seek method. The seek method receives a parameter which you, um, you know, indicate the location of the file. If you pass zero to the seek method, you know the fine pointer will move to the beginning of the file. And if you pass the length of the you know, content in your file to the seek method, the fine pointer would move to the end of the file. So let me show you an example about how to use this random access file class. So first, uh, let us create a class called uh, text random access file. This method have a main. Uh, this class has a main method, and uh, like Euro, I use the try with resource syntax to create, uh, you know, the random access file um, instance. Um, I named the instance as inout, and uh, let's say I want to handle a file which is called inout.dat. And the model I choose the RW, which means read and write. Okay, here I'm gonna you know through the exception, which is IO exception. Oh, sorry, it should uh, um, define the method header. Okay, next we can you know um, implement our logic in the try block. And uh, first, uh, let's uh, you know clear the file. How can I clear the file? I just uh, use the send length method. <clears throat> I pass zero to this method, which means I will clear the file to destroy the old content if this file exists. Okay, next I will write, uh, for example, um, 200 integer into this file. 
I will use a for loop. Okay, then I will invoke the write int method to write fire to write the content to the fire. So after that, I'm gonna you know display the current current length of the fire. So I will say current length of the fire. I will invoke the length method. Okay, let's run this uh, program first to check out the result. You see a in out uh, DAT file is created and the current length is 800 because each, each integer has uh, four bytes, then the file is totally 800 bytes. Okay. Um, next, uh, let's say I want to retrieve the first number of the file. I can, you know, first uh, should, uh, you know, move our file pointer to the uh, beginning of the file, I pass zero to it, and uh, our file pointer is now point to the beginning of the file and then i can invoke a method which is called read int to read uh, the first integer of the file okay let's say um the first number is read int okay um next uh, let's say i want to retrieve the second number so first thing i should move the find pointer to the position of the second number here I use 1 plus 4 because each integer has 4 bytes now the find pointer is point to the location of the second number then I can use the read int method to read it okay so let's uh, run this program to check out the result Okay, next let's say I want to retrieve the tenth number. So first thing is to remove our find pointer to the location uh, where the tenth number locates. And we use the same method, read int. Okay, and uh, let's add some uh, message for helping us better read the, the code. Ten, sorry. Okay, let's uh, run this program. Tens number should be nine. Cool. Okay, next, uh, let's say I want to modify the eleventh number. Um, since we have already moved to the eleventh number, because uh, every time I invoke the read in the method, our five pointer will move four bytes. Uh, you know. Uh, Four bytes ahead of current position, so I can um, I can just uh, you know modify just directly modify it. Right, uh, for example, five five five. All right, and uh, let's say I want to um, add some number at uh, the end of the file. I can use uh, um, I can do it like this. First, let's move to the uh, end of the file. And then we invoke the write int method to write some int to it. Nine nine nine. Okay. Finally, we can you know display the new length of of our file. We can let's say and uh, next, uh, let's say I want to retrieve the new eleventh number. So. As first, uh, you know, uh, move our five pointer to the position of the eleventh number, which is uh, this one, and we can, you know, display the eleventh number. Okay, finally, we can run this program. Let's check out. You see, tenth number is nine. And new length is uh, this one. The eleventh number is a uh, five five five. Okay, cool.